everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin and in today's video, I am going to give you a tour of our Texas home. We have lived in our home here in Texas for almost four years and I'm really excited to give you this tour today. This is our front entrance. We have a courtyard, so the first door that you enter brings you into the courtyard. We get the most use out of this area in the fall and spring months. It is uncovered, so it can be quite hot in the middle of the summer, but it's wonderful to view sunsets and we enjoy sitting out here in the evenings. The front door takes you right into our great room and to the right here are two double doors that lead out to the patio. So if the weather were very cool and breezy as it sometimes is in the fall and spring, we can open those doors all the way to the back and have a nice cross breeze. This is our living room or great room area. It's completely open to the kitchen. One of my favorite features of this home, and you guys probably don't get to see it in the videos very often, are the vaulted ceilings and the wood ceiling and beams. Another favorite feature for me in this room is all the limestone that is incorporated into the design. Previous owners of this home did not use this as their permanent residence, so when they sold the house it was pretty much fully furnished. We do have several pieces that we brought with us from our previous home, but if you have questions about the furnishings, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them if I have the information. From our living room, we have a great view of our backyard patio area, and I will be showing you guys that in a little more detail later in the video. Moving into the kitchen, one of my favorite features is our large island. We can easily seat three people and I love when I'm working there to be able to spend time with friends and family. It's a great place to gather and because it's connected with the living room, we feel like we are all in one space together and I'm not separated while preparing food. Our cabinets are custom made. They are in a shaker style with an espresso finish. We have limestone countertops and most of our appliances are made by Thermador. To the left of our wine column, we have a built-in coffee maker and we are in love with this appliance. Below that, we have freezer drawers and next to that, a column refrigerator. And our six burner gas stove is something that I absolutely love. There is also a built-in grill. Our dishwasher is to the left of the sink and then we have a drawer microwave and that is made by Sharp. Moving to the right is our kitchen breakfast nook area. We actually swapped our tables. This one is actually our dining room table and we put the kitchen one in the dining room. I'll show you that later. But this is where we really like to have all of our meals. And because Kyle is away at college most of the time, I usually just have three places set here. Our kitchen area gets a lot of light here. So this is where I like to have plants. And we have a lot of details on the ceiling that I will try to show you throughout the video because it is a beautiful design feature of this home. Keep Austin's crate and food dishes in this area of the kitchen. He chooses to sleep in here at night. We don't close the door, but he likes this area because this is close to the action. Through 
this door and behind our stove is our pantry and my office area. If you would like a little more information about some of these areas in our home, I will have video links in the cards above so that you can check those out. I have it organized so that most of our kitchen items are in the upper cabinets and mostly office related things are in the lower cabinets. And I have a couple of appliances that we use often on the countertop, as well as all of my office things, printer, laptop, and so forth. And then in the back of the pantry, I have grouped appliances. And then over here to the right, I have all of our food storage. And we have quite a lot of space for food storage, and I really do max it out most of the time. We cook a lot from home, so I really like having a well-stocked kitchen. Through this door and to the back and right of our kitchen is our butler's pantry and this links our kitchen and dining room and we have extra cabinetry here. The builders of this home really did a lot of extensive cabinetry throughout our home so we have lots of storage and we have some wine accessories and things in the upper cabinets and the lower cabinets contain our fine china and linens. This is our dining room area and so to the left we have more cabinetry, straight ahead is our garage door and then to the right is where the dining room table is. In the upper cabinets I have some things on display that have some sentimental value, either wedding gifts or things that belong to our grandmothers. So I love that we have the glass fronts and the lights to display those things. And in the cabinets below we actually keep quite a few of our office items and files. We had actually thought about using our dining room as an office for Patrick, but he opted to move his office upstairs, and I'll show that to you a little bit later in the video. It's also the area where our orchids live because they love all of the light that comes from the southern facing windows. This is the dining room area, and we swapped the tables, so this is the one that belonged in the kitchen, but we like using it in here to play board games, card games. That's what we really use this area for. This room also has a beautifully detailed ceiling and we just love the design features like this throughout the home. You'll probably notice that I don't have a lot of decor displayed throughout our home and I really like having clean surfaces, but I do make an exception here in the dining room. I have a few pieces that are really meaningful to us that we like to display in here. All of the window treatments throughout our home were left by our previous owner and I love all of them. And I also love the way this window looks out onto the courtyard. Now I'll head into our laundry room and garage entrance area. We have a really nice shelving system here that we can store all of our shoes on and it's rather stuffed right now so I think I need to do a little decluttering in here. I probably have some winter shoes in there that we could put into storage until next winter. We also keep coats and bags hung here and we really like to use the seat to put our shoes on and take them off when we come and go. Next is our laundry room and to start we have an extra refrigerator and I really love that a lot of homes in this area area have a space like this inside because keeping a refrigerator in the garage here in the heat of the summer in Texas would not be efficient at all so it's very convenient and we enjoy having that extra space for overflow. This is where of course our washer and dryer is and I love that I have this bar above for hanging clothes and we have way more cabinetry than we could ever use but it's really nice to have all of this extra storage. The layout of this room is really functional and I love having a sink in here as well. Heading through the dining room, we circle back into the foyer entrance area, great room. <laughs> it's all one big space. 
Our guest room and master bedrooms are both located on the first floor and so to the left here is the guest room sort of suite area. As a matter of fact it's labeled a casita. A lot of the homes in our area have almost a completely separate bedroom and bathroom. Ours is connected to our home but it has the feel of being separated which is really nice when we have guests. The cabinetry in here is the same style and finish that we have in the kitchen and dining room. However, the hardware is different. The countertop is a limestone and we have a glass vessel sink. The tile in our guest bathroom is rather unique. It is sort of a basket weave pattern. It's a little bit hard to show you on camera, but it's a combination of travertine and glass. Straight ahead, we have a large linen closet, and it's also the place where I store our vacuum. To the right here is our guest room. The guest room does have access to the courtyard and front entrance area, so if guests prefer to come and go without coming through the main part of the house, they have the option to do so. The bed in this room is part of our original bedroom set. It is a queen size bed and when we moved here we sort of upgraded to a king size, so we're using this piece here in the guest room. To the right of the bed, we have a large closet for our guests, and this dresser was also a part of the same bedroom set, and we're using this piece in here, and I'll show you the rest that we have in our master bedroom when we go in there. At the foot of the bed, we have this large storage piece, which is great. I've got some blankets and even extra artwork stored in there, but it's a nice place for our guests to lay out clothes or their suitcases. This bedside table was left by the previous owners and it was actually in a different room, but it works really great as a bedside table in here. And on the other side is a piece that we brought and I believe that came from World Market. from the guest room is our master suite and as you can see there's a door here so we can completely close this area off and through these two French doors on the left is our bathroom. Our countertops are a gray granite and the cabinetry is the same shaker style but in a two-tone gray finish. The shower is straight ahead as you walk in and it is surrounded by glass and we have a frameless glass door. The tile is a combination of glass and Italian ceramic. Our standalone tub is one of my favorite features of this bathroom and it is made by the company Victoria and Albert. We have an electric fireplace and television in here. We really enjoy this space when we're getting ready in the morning and having a chair here is a great place to relax. Although truth be told, we often use it for draping clothes. And this vanity is the one that Patrick uses and to the right of that is the little toilet room. The vanity on this side of the room is the one that I use. And just to the left of that is our closet. And we have a pocket door that closes this area off as well as to the toilet room. Heading 
coming out of the bathroom, our master bedroom is just to the left. The headboard in here was left by the previous owners and so we chose to get a king size sleep number bed for our room. This dresser and mirror plus both nightstands are part of the set that we have in the guest room. Across from the bed is another dresser and this one was left by the previous owner plus our television and this door leads to our backyard patio. And this corner of our bedroom is where I like to have my quiet time or Bible study in the morning. This is where we like to spend a lot of our outdoor time. We have a great outdoor kitchen grill area here and plenty of space to eat and enjoy the features of our backyard. feature of our backyard is our spa. I love the waterfall feature. I think it's not only beautiful to look at, but it makes a beautiful sound that is so relaxing when we're sitting out here. Our spa seats four adults very comfortably and we enjoy refreshing ourselves out here in the hot summertime. We also have this beautiful fireplace feature and what I love about our backyard is that even though we have neighbors that are fairly close by, the design of it keeps our area very private and cozy and we enjoy this area so much. top of our staircase opens up to our media or theater room and we use this more or less as a family room area. We love watching movies up here together. The fans on either side of the screen offer a lot of air circulation and we have our best views from this top floor and all of the windows that we have up here. It's also the area that Patrick uses for his office. You can see his desk in the corner over there. And then this little area is sort of a dry bar. We have a lot of cabinetry for storage in here and a small drink refrigerator. have lots of seating space up here and we really enjoy coming up here together as a family or when we have friends over to watch a movie. This large coffee table has tons of storage inside and I have games and extra blankets in there. 
This chair is definitely the best seat in the house as far as the media room goes. It's really comfortable, it's feather stuffed and cushy, and two people can comfortably sit here. This balcony just off of our media room overlooks the courtyard below. This is the best seat in the house for enjoying the hill country views that we have from up here. So if you haven't met him yet, this is our dog, Austin. Down the hallway are our two boys' rooms and they each have their own bathroom. So the first one to the left here is Kyle's bathroom. All of the cabinetry in our bathrooms and throughout the house are made by the same custom cabinet builder and they are in the shaker style, but the bathrooms have slightly different finishes to them. And so the one in here is green and I just love it in combination with the glass and ceramic white tiles. Both of the boys' bathrooms and also in the laundry room, we have quartz countertops. And I am a huge fan of those after having lived with them for a little while. Of all the countertop materials, that would definitely be my favorite. I really like quartz because of its durability and its easy maintenance. This is Kyle's bedroom and the previous owners had it decorated to coordinate with the bathroom and I really love the colors in here and Kyle does too. And as you can see there is an entrance from Kyle's room directly into the bathroom that can be closed with a pocket door. At the end of the hall is Peyton's room, and he definitely has the bigger of the two rooms. But because Kyle is away at college, everybody agreed it was only fair that since Peyton's here, he gets the bigger room. He has a large closet to the right, and then he has his own attached bathroom as well. And we did a big decluttering of his room not long ago, and I have a video of that if you want to know how his room is organized, and I will link that in the cards above. The cabinets in here are finished in a dark gray, and the penny tile that is on the backsplash and bathtub surround are white and dark brown. The countertops are also quartz, and each bathroom has its own unique hardware. And the tiles also have unique designs in each bathroom, and that is another feature that really sold me on this home. That is it for our home tour. I really enjoyed sharing our home with you today and spending time with you. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Subscribing is absolutely free, and when you subscribe, it really helps my channel to grow so that I can continue to bring you videos like this one. Thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video.